Yo, what's good everyone? Buckle up because we've got some big Android news to unpack today. Google's dropping a bombshell on the Android ecosystem and it's all about sideloading apps. You know, that sweet freedom to install apps from outside the Play Store. But now Google's tightening the screws with a new policy and it's got people split. Some say it's about safety, others say it's a control grab. Oh, and here's the kicker. There's a workaround that might just keep sideloading live. Let's dive in, break it down, and talk about what this means for you. Ready? Let's go. So here's the scoop. Google's planning to restrict sideloading apps starting late 2026. If you're not familiar, sideloading is when you grab an APK, basically an app file, from somewhere other than the Play Store, like a website or a third-party store, and install it on your phone. It's one of Android's superpowers, right? You're not locked into Google's walled garden like some other platforms, like iOS. But Google's new rules say that any developer pushing apps, even outside the Play Store, has to verify their identity with Google. No verification, your phone's gonna block that app from installing. Ouch, that's a huge shift for Android's open vibe. Why is Google doing this? They're saying it's about keeping users safe. And honestly, there's some truth there. Non-techie folks sometimes download sketchy APKs from random websites thinking it's the latest game or app, and bam, malware city. Those shady apps can steal data, mess up your phone, or worse. Google's like, we're stepping in to protect you. They're not using their usual Play Protect system for this though, which is weird. Instead, they're rolling out a new system app called Android Developer Verifier. Why not stick with Play Protect? No one knows yet. Maybe it's about tighter control or better tracking. We're all waiting for Google to spill the tea on that one. Now, let's talk about the good news. There's a workaround, and it's a game changer for us Android fans who love our freedom. Android expert Michelle Rahman dug into Google's own FAQ page and found gold, the Android Debug Bridge, or ADB for short. This is a developer tool that could let you sideload apps without Google's verification. Yup, you heard that right. Google's basically saying, if you use ADB, you can bypass this restriction. Mic drop. So sideloading's not dead, it's just gonna take a bit more effort. Okay, let's get into ADB. What is it and how do you use it? If you're picturing some super complicated hacker stuff, don't worry, it's not that intense, but it's not as simple as tapping install on your phone either. ADB is a command line tool that lets you talk to your Android device from a computer. Developers use it to test apps, flash custom ROMs, or install stuff manually. To sideload with ADB, you'll need a computer, Windows, Mac, or Linux works fine, a USB cable, and your Android phone. Here's the basic rundown. First, you gotta enable developer options on your phone. Go to Settings, find About Phone, and tap the build number seven times. Yeah, it's like a secret code. Pretty cool, right? Once that's unlocked, go into Developer Options and turn on USB debugging. That lets your phone talk to your computer. Next, download the ADB tool on your computer. Google's got it for free as part of their Android SDK platform tools. Don't worry, it's legit. You'll also need the APK file you want to install. Got all that? Plug your phone into your computer, open a command window where ADB is installed, and type something like ADB install your app.apk. Hit enter, and boom, the app's on your phone. No verification needed. Sounds doable, right? But here's the reality check. If you're not used to messing with command lines, it might feel a bit clunky at first. You're not just tapping a button anymore, you're typing commands. For text savvy folks, it's no big deal. But if you're someone who just wants to sideload a cool app you found online without jumping through hoops, this could feel like a hassle. Still, it's a small price to pay to keep sideloading alive, don't you think? Let's circle back to Google's motives for a sec. On one hand, this policy could cut down on malware, which is great for the average user. Your grandma downloading a fake banking app? Not ideal. Google's trying to lock that down. But on the flip side, this move gives Google way more control over what you can do with your phone. Android's always been about choice, install what you want, where you want. Now Google's putting up guardrails, and some folks are worried it's a step towards making Android feel more like, well, that other platform. Plus, forcing developers to verify their identity, even for apps not on the Play Store, could make it harder for small devs or open source projects to thrive. Imagine a cool indie app that can't get verified because the developer doesn't want to share their ID with Google. 
that app's toast on certified devices. So where does this leave us? If you're a casual user, Google's policy might not bug you much. Stick to the Play Store and you're golden. But if you're a power user who loves sideloading apps, tweaking your device, or trying out beta APKs, ADB's your new best friend. It's not perfect, but it keeps the door open for Android's open spirit. And who knows, maybe the Android community will come up with even slicker tools to make sideloading easier down the road. That's the beauty of this ecosystem. Where there's a will, there's a way. What do you think about all this? Are you ready to fire up ADB to keep sideloading? Or is Google's crackdown a deal breaker? Maybe you're cool with sticking to the Play Store. Drop your thoughts in the comments. I'm dying to hear what you all make of this. If you found this breakdown helpful, hit that like button, subscribe, and ring the bell for more tech news. We'll keep you posted if Google drops more details on this Android developer verifier thing. Catch you in the next one.